Let's go toy hunting! Hey guys, me host Zoobazar, thank you very much for tuning in. Today we're going toy hunting and I'm bringing you guys along for the hunt. Um, stick around to the end of the video, it might be a long one today, I've got a lot of places to go. Um, so this will be a long one, but please do check out the video, please watch to the very end, because at the very end of the video there is the haul of goodies and you wouldn't want to miss it, because I've got a feeling about today. And I've had two deliveries there to know about that I'm going to share with you. So there's a big box of toys on the floor that I need to talk about and it looks awesome. But, until then, let's see what else we can find on today's travel, so let's do this toy hunting, let's go. Alright guys, we're on the hunt again, it's another Toy Alive special, and today we're at Smith's first of all. We just looked at the Marvel Legends, nothing new there, so we're going to check out Spidey and his amazing friends. This is a little kids line that I've been reviewing, and Super Soul Jr. has really enjoyed playing with in my room, so I do try and pick these up when I find them. However, nothing is jumping out at us right now. I did do a little haul the other day. If you didn't see my small haul video, go back and check it out. I, I did show off Trace E, the robot, from Spidey. Um, among a few Black Series figures, and all those have been reviewed and on the channel already for you. I'm going to try and get into that a little bit faster, so I get things reviewed um, you know, as you see them arrive on the channel, basically. Now, these are a brand new animated style of... Um, Harry Potter. Well, I, th I think we'll get to that in a moment. We just look having a quick look at these uh, soda pops. We've got the Harley Quinn one, but nothing else. So these are a brand new line of figures that we found by Harry Potter, and they are by Spin Master, and they're the Magical Minis. You may have seen that I reviewed the Magical Minis Castle already on the channel. Well, here is Hagrid and Hermione, and there's um, Harry and Cho Chang, and there's also a Ron and Ginny set as well so far. Now, there is a bunch of the single figures as well, but they don't have these in Smiths. They just have these two packs, and they look pretty cute, to be fair. We may pick these up after we've done, you know, had the castle for a little bit. We may pick these up, so I haven't quite decided yet, so stick around for that, guys. Next up, let's keep moving. I do have a couple of pops there, and you'll see those towards the end of September as we eer eer eerily creep into October. But Fortnite-wise, nothing new at all in stock. They do have the chopper on the bottom shelf, but I'm not too bothered for the chopper. I'm, think, I'm thinking about sticking with the, the six-inch stuff, and I don't think I'll probably get any more of the three-inch. And I'm very excited to see what Hasbro are going to be doing with the six-inch. And there is still the Glow Raptor in the Jazzwares ones that I'm very tempted to pick up for Halloween, but I'm not sure yet. It's a Halloween sort of inspired version of Raptor, and I could be very tempted to pick it up. Looking at the Star Wars stuff, again, nothing new here. It's all the same from last month and last week and the week before that. And, oh, God. It's been a while since we've had some good new Star Wars stuff delivered. So, let's keep moving. Jurassic Park. No, still the regular sets that we've had here for a while now. Um, it is, it does, this does happen when you're a toy hunter and you go out on a weekly toy hunt. You do start seeing the same things week in, week out. But... It'll just be that one time you'll go and you'll drop on something brand new. And don't worry, stick around because we do find some awesome new stuff. It's just Smith's is a little bit behind right now. They do have one hell of a Sonic section though. I'm not sure what, what they're planning there, but a lot of Sonic merchandise. The Mario merch has now been pushed into the corner and Sonic has taken its pride and place. Uh, turning around here, Mrs. Supersorrel is looking at the Ushis. She's very tempted to do some Ushi videos on her Instagram. If you don't follow Mrs. Sorrel on Instagram, make sure you go check her out, at Mrs. Supersorrel. Gujitsus have been always very tempting as well. I do like those. and I'm very, I'm still very tempted to grab these weird frozen dinosaur -y things. Yeah, Mrs. Supersorrel is really liking the look of those Disney Ushis. Uh, they are blind bags, though. That's the problem. There is a lot of blind baggy ones, and the big the big sets, you, you have to, don't think you're going to get any rare ones in the big sets. They want you to buy the blind bags. <laughs> Find the limited edition Furry Cheetah. That just sounds so wrong. Anyway, moving forward, Treasure X as well is a series that I've always wanted to maybe attempt, um, along with the Smashers. I do like things like that. They, they do amuse me, and it, uh, they really do appeal to my inner child, I've got to admit. Piggy, I'm not too fond of, but I, I would like to... Is it a Gabe? I don't know. I need to look further into what Piggy even is. But I am looking forward to seeing Dreadbear on the shelves. Now, we've gone to White Rose Shopping Centre here in Leeds, and they're having a Paw Patrol celebration, courtesy of the new movie. And Disney Store will be closing at the end of these videos. I, I think I think at the end, by the time this video goes up, I think the store will already be closed. 
very sad times. It's the last time we'll probably be in this store. Sad. We've managed to get to quite a few Disney stores in our area prior to closing. This playset has always eluded me, and I'm still tempted to grab one. They are available online, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, I've always been very tempted. The characters seem very chunky in that collection compared to some of the other figurines. And I've still got the Alice in Wonderland figurine playset. If anyone's interested in seeing it, please let me know. Now, checking out some more stores, and here we are in Wakefield Comics 616. Wakefield Comics has some amazing stuff in stock at the moment right now. They have G.I. Joes on the shelf, which you never see. Uh, a lot of Power Rangers, including some of the newer stuff, and plenty of Star Wars um, vintage and Black Series stuff. And they even have some of these G.I. Joe vintage figures as well, which is very cool. Uh, not my thing though, I'm not really into that, so I'm going to skip most of this. I have all the Black Series right now. I'm not bothered about any of the new McFarlane things right now. I'm really, really going off McFarlane's a little bit at this moment in time. I'm getting bored of what they're putting out there, although I am very I am, I am very happy they're finally giving us the Harley Quinn from Birds of Prey, and I have pre-ordered her. Um, yeah, all these Black Series I currently own, so there's nothing new here for me. Although Super Soldier Jr. is looking at the world of Nintendo products. She's a big fan of Mario Brothers, and she knows all the rest of the characters from Nintendo thanks to things like Smash Brothers. So she's very tempted by these World of Nintendo figures. Now they have a Metroid here. They also have Link, and I believe there's a Mario. Uh, I don't know what the variant's called, but it's, it's, like a furry, it's like a weird little furry berry beaver thing. And Super Soldier Jr. loves it. So I think we're going to grab one of those for her. Uh, as soon as I pass it to her, I don't think I'm ever going to get it back. Watch this. Let's do it. Let's have a look. Am I going to pass it down? Let's wait. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure as soon as I pass her this figure, she's never going to pass it back. So I'm pretty sure we're going to be buying it. Mm, let's keep looking. Here we go. Super Soldier Junior. This is what she's after. 30 years of Mario. There you go. The little hand's coming. And it's gone. <laughs> there's a Link there as well, as well as Metroid, like I said. And there's a bunch of other characters on the back. She, and uh, we, we probably will pick those up for her as well. Um, she's a big fan of Smash Brothers and things like that. So the Disney Kingdom Heart stuff. I've got the Hercules now. I, I, it's so funny, isn't it? When you're not when, when you're not looking for it, it's like readily available. But when you're looking for it, you can't find it anywhere. <laughs> that 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 Hercules set eluded me for years, and now it's everywhere. But anyway, that Hercules set is very cool. Moving on, they do have a bunch of the Toonie Terrors. I do like these. I just don't like the price of them. They're like twenty pounds each. I don't think they're worth that much. I've got Sam just to finish off my trick-or-treat collection. That'll be coming up this October. But I'm really not... I can't buy the rest of them. And that, that one for Chucky, which is like nearly 30 quid, I really can't justify that. Nightmare Before Christmas has released a bunch of new stuff through Diamond Select. Could be very tempted, although I do consider... The Nightmare Before Christmas, more of a Christmas thing than Halloween. Halloween to me is more horror orientated, so I'll probably skip that for now. But you may see I may pick up some of those as we get closer to Christmas. This NECA Godzilla really did catch my eye. Um, I didn't get it in the end, but I wish I did. And look, it's the Wild Stallions! But they only had a Wild Stallion because they didn't have Ted. And there's no way I'm buying Bill on his own. Come on. We need Bill and Ted. They did have the Kiss Mego figures, but they only had they didn't have the whole set. They only had three of the four. And these are the Toonie Terrors. Very cool figures. Eighteen pounds in here, which isn't bad. Couple of quid off the regular retail. They're normally about twenty, but I, this is the set that I would want next. But I just can't. Ugh. Those two tiny figures for twenty-five pounds. Are you insane? I just can't do it to myself. It's just pff, crazy talk. And then you've got those Planet of the Apes figures as well by Mego, and these AXS figures. They did have Gene Simmons, I already have him, and I wish I got Lemmy now, um, and Angus Young, but I, I think I skipped both of those. I, w I really wish I'd have got the uh, Lemmy, and I think that's I think Slash is coming out now as well. The Rock and Roll Legends line is is getting bigger, and they had big trouble in, L in Little China. They had, is he called Ming Meng? Um, and then moving on... Oh, they did have these on the shelf as well, the Flash Gordons, but um, yeah, I can't afford those right now. I think it was going to cost me just short of £100 for the whole set, so I will give them a little miss for now.
They also have the Marvel Select figures, including Sabretooth in stock. Nah, they've been there for a while. I'm going to skip those. And finally, the manga section back here as well, which is very cool. Uh, they do have a bunch of Dragon Ball items and what have you, but that's not my scene. They do, though, have an entire massive shelf of Funko products, which you will see in just a moment. They had these really big Funkos, and then if we move over here, look at all the Funkos. Funko, Funko, Funko. I do love some Funkos. Um, they had Buzz Lightyear and the Aliens for Pixar's anniversary. And they did have some of the new Loki stuff, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, Disney Princesses, My Little Pony. They had everything. All the brand new ones, including Captain Carter and Venom and Carnage. Very tempting. I could have spent a lot of money there on Pops, but I resisted. Carnage, though, and Venom. I really want those Pops from the movie, but I think I am just going to hold on a little bit longer as I can see them mass-producing those bad boys and them coming down in price. The little orange sun, though, from Loki. Is it called Miss Minute? I was very tempted to grab one of those, though. Little Mermaid's 30th anniversary here. I think it's a t-shirt and a pop vinyl for Mrs. Soup Sorrel, but they didn't have any of the correct sizes. Sadly, they only had small. It's always the case, isn't it? Going down this set, this section here, it's just full of pop vinyls and manga books, but I'm not into manga these days, so we'll just look at pop vinyls. They did have a bunch of cool stuff, but nothing I'm hunting. And Super Soldier Judy did find the giant Mario Mario plushies up in the sky. And she was very much dying to get those. And Wakefield Comics even have a cool library of movies as well. Moving on from there, we're now in Entertainer. Entertainer do have some great stuff. And let's take a look at what we can find. They do have these little key rings. Pop key rings of Grogu, the child, and Baby Yoda, whatever you call him. And uh, yeah, they do have plenty of those in stock. I think they're expecting them to sell out, but I don't know. Do, do the pop key rings sell that well? I, it's not, I don't really have much dealings with them. Then they have the WB Stampers, WB Regular Figures, and some uh, NXT stuff and AEW. Nothing of which I'm needing or hunting at this time. They have a bunch of the Batman Bat Tech stuff from Spin Master, and Imaginex seems to be in a lot of discount chains now. And look, it's a massive pop vinyl section yet again, but sadly a little bit overpriced. So I'll be skipping. If you want any of the exclusives, they are running at nearly 15 to 20 pounds each. Damn! So I will be skipping most of those. Nothing that I'm that after that badly. Thing is, with these big retail stores, yes, they do have them in. And they do get them in and they do charge you a little bit extra at the beginning, like 15, 20. But I can guarantee you in about a month's time, those same pops will be in the discount aisle. So I'll hold out. And if I miss them, that's my turn. That's my bad, isn't it? But, you know. I'm going to play the long game. I'm in these stores most weeks. I will see them dwindle down or end up in a discount aisle. Looking at Toy Story, nothing new in stock just yet. I'm still waiting on that uh, Talker Zerg to drop. As soon as the, the, the Talking Zerg drops, I will have more of those interactable reviews online. I've still got to do Bud, Buzz, Woody, and Jesse. If you're interested in seeing those figures and the, you know, the, the, the interactive talk, talking ones, then please do let me know and I can get those reviews out. I'm tempted to do all three in one big video, to be honest. That could be fun. And then obviously I can do Zerg singly when he comes out with Buzz, because obviously he's going to interact with Buzz, which would be very cool. Nothing really much going on in here, though. I'm a little bit disappointed today in Entertainer, as I haven't really found anything just yet. Oh, by the way, what on earth are these things? These are everywhere right now, and I have no clue what this is, but they look like fun. It looks like some form of old school video thing. It's called Akido or Akedo or Ikido or something like that, and basically it's a little figure, and you pop him on a little stand, and you make the two stands clash and battle until only one figure remains. Very cool concept. Very tempted to grab one just to see what it is, but I don't have anyone that would play with me. <laughs> I'll be playing by myself, which sounds really weird and creepy. But, you know, <laughs> very tempted, but nah, we'll probably leave them until they end up in a discount bin. Big Pops up there? Nah, not at those prices. Let's keep rolling on. Now look what it is. It's the re-release box set, and it's £100! Are you insane, Sainsbury's? Now, it is eight figures, but when that got released, if all those figures were bought separately, it would only cost you £80, not £100. They're only £10 each, those figures, as far as I remember. However, I am hunting these bad boys. These are the new figures from the Spider-Man home, uh, far, far from home, and I haven't found them yet, but 
by the time this video goes online, I probably have reviewed something because I did grab some recently. Moving on, let's keep looking down this aisle. This is the final B and M, guys. This is B and M. Uh, so what, what's in B&M this week? Sweet FA, to be honest, this week. There's nothing in this stall this week. They have some Bray Wyatts, and they have The Fiend, all discounted to um, just short of retail, which is okay. Uh, the eight ninety nine, by the way, isn't for that Bray Wyatt. That's for the WrestleMania figures. They did have, however, some more of the Magical Minis by Harry Potter in here, and they did have those sister location Five Nights at Freddy's back backpack hangers, which have been missing for the longest time, so they're just making it to uh, B and M. I didn't make a full video this week called what called what's in B and M because it would be a very boring video because guys, there is nothing in B and M this week. The only thing they had was the Harry Potter minis, which you will probably see at the end of this video in the hall. But other than that, nothing new in stock at all. So I'll skip making that video this week, and we'll try again in about seven about about a weeks time. So guys, I hope you enjoyed going shopping with me today. Stick around. We do have the haul video still to go through. It's going to be a lot of fun. So stick around for the haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you do like my toy hunts and you prefer my narration on the videos rather than just music, then please let me know because it's always nice to hear that I'm doing something that you guys enjoy watching. Otherwise, I can just go back to doing music if you'd prefer. But I think you guys do like the uh, the voiceovers, I hope. <laughs> if not, you're stuck with it for now. <laughs> Uh, final look here. They had some Fortnite 12-inch figures, but again, nothing that I'm overly interested in. Again, Piggy. All the same stuff repeated, really. So let's go back to the main cam and finish off this video with a haul. Hey, guys. Me, host of Resort. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. This is my haul of goodies from the awesome shopping trip that you just saw. Guys, I went on a shopping trip today, and as you guys saw, I went around all sorts of different shops, and we've even had a delivery here as well, which I'll share with you. So, let's jump straight in at the deep end. So, the entertainer. I finally got these in stock. Mandalorian, the Child, the Bounty Collection. This is available on their website right now to buy for just $19.99. It's not a bad deal, and it's the Bounty Collection. This is the big set. Includes the... Um, the little uh, Grogu also includes his, um, like, flight cot, whatever you want to call it. And then it also includes, like, a blanket and, like, uh, one of the little green frogs. His little green, greeny yellow cookie cookie thing that he ate in the program. And a little ball of, a little bowl of, uh, what I can only describe as, as calamari. <laughs> so, the bounty collection, it says on the back, A mysterious alien pursued by bounty hunters on behalf of Imperial Interests, Grogu. Cool, I can't wait to open this up. The Bounty coll Collection have been those little, um, like, cubes that have had a Baby Yoda inside each one. This is the first one that's come box, as far as I'm aware. So I can't wait to see how this looks, and I'll probably review that one next, guys. So that'll pr probably be tomorrow's review. Then we went to Wakefield Comics 616, local little independent comic store, and I bought a bunch of comics. Before we go on with the haul, I want to share with you what I picked up. So the comics that I grabbed, I got Marvel Comics Amazing Fantasy number one. It's a new a new comic book that they're doing. It looks like heroes, but in like like Conan the Barbarian style sort of stuff. It says on it, they came to a world with no heroes and no escape, featuring Captain America, Spider Man, Black Widow, and more. So I'm looking forward to reading that. This is number one of five, so I can't wait to get the rest of them. Awesome looking cover. Then one of the True Believers reprints, it's the Werewolf by Night featuring Moon Knight. So I'm looking forward to reading that as it comes up to the Halloween season. You can't beat a little bit of Moon Knight and a little bit of uh, Werewolf by Night especially. I love the vintage look of those comic books. It was comic book day, that, well it's been comic book week or month, wherever it is. I know, I know it got delayed, now it's happened again. Uh, but comic book day, and I got the free comic book of Spider-Man and Venom. So I'm definitely looking forward to reading that. On the back, it does have an advert for the Fantastic Four as well. Uh, Fantastic Four number 35. It'll be six, 60 years of Fantastic Four. In the Fantastic Four versus Kang in the ultimate battle for survival. I'll probably read that. With the fact that we've got Kang in the um, MCU now, I'll probably give that a good little read. Aliens Aftermath. This is the first This is the first copy of the Aliens, the 35th anniversary Aliens Aftermath by Marvel. So I'm looking forward to giving that a read. I'm very much looking forward to getting into some of the Marvel versions of Alien and Predator. 
Then we've got Dynamite Comics number one, Elvira Meet the Vincent Price. This is a new comic book series that's starting. Um, looking forward to reading this over the fall season. I, I love Vincent Price. I love Elvira. What's not? What is not to like about that? You know, the mistress, the mistress of all evil, or the mistress of dark darkness. I believe she's called. Is it the mistress of darkness meets one of Hollywood's best horror actors? Um, then I've got a new comic book series that I didn't know even existed until this morning. Conjuring's The Lover. So this is the prequel to The Conjuring The Devil Made Me Do It, the third Conjuring film. This is the uh, the prequel in a comic book by DC Comics. DC Comics have got a new press line called the DC Horror. So I'm looking forward to uh, giving that a read. So Conjuring The Lover, I have part one. Part two. And then part three. I'm looking forward to getting the final two parts later in uh, the fall season. Then as well, I didn't know I didn't know Dynamite Comics existed. I really need to look at what other things they produce because I found another Dynamite comic that I'm interested in reading. It's Kiss. You guys know that I love Kiss, the best band in the land. Can't beat a bit of Kiss. So this is Phantom Obsession. So I'm looking forward to giving that a read. Because I know Marvel used to make Kiss comics back in the day, and they've made there's been a bunch of Kiss comics since then. But this is Dynamite's new line, so I'm looking forward to giving that a read. And obviously, I'm going to look at Dynamite's website and see what else they make. Obviously, I like Kiss, I like the Elvira comic. I'm going to see what else they do. I can't say it's a comic book company I'm overly familiar with, and although I'm not into my comics like I was when I was younger. I mean, this is a small pile compared to what I would have got years ago. Years ago, I would have had like every X Men, Fantastic Four. Batman and spin-offs and oh god it would have been ridiculous so those are my comic books I'll pop them down there for now and then while I was also at Wakefield Comics 616 I also got my hands on the Power Rangers uh, this is the lightning col collection from the movie and it's the um, what do they call him the T uh, Tenga Warrior so this was the little bird creature that Ivan Ooze created do you remember did that thing where he like spat on the floor and then these all came out of it so I might need a couple more of these. I know they're going to be hard to get a hold of. I know they're sold out really fast. Uh, but I need to get a couple more of these, I think. And then I can make some cool displays. But with the Ninjetti figures coming out as well now, it'd be cool to pose them opposite. Like, you know, do some film stuff. But very cool indeed. You can't beat the Tenga Warriors. And does this mean we're going to get Ivan Ooze soon? If they're giving us the Tenga Warriors, surely Ivan Ooze should be coming up next. That's my opinion. But we'll see what happens. Can't wait for an Ivan Ooze. I've still got my classic Lightning uh, uh, Ooze up there. Right, the next in the Harry Potter series, guys. You know we've been doing the Magical Minis. Well, this is the Care of Magical Creatures class. And it comes with Luna Lovegood, a flying baby Thestral, some apples, a bucket. <laughs> and it just looks really fun. This, these are by Spin Master. And this is the first of the classrooms that, that we get in that clip onto the castle that, 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 that we bought. So this is the outside area. And as you can see there, there's like a little grey bit. That clips onto the side of the castle to extend it. So I'm looking forward to giving this the full review treatment. See how it looks compared to, you know, uh, on the side of the castle. And also see what Luna Lovegood looks like as well in this form. Because... Some characters render themselves well in this look. Some characters look weird. Like, I'm not a big fan of Hermione, Ron, and Harry in that series. They don't they look, they look very weird. But, like, Luna Lovegood, for some reason, just looks normal in that series. She's quite a kooky character anyway. So she seems to render herself really well in this series. And in this one, we can we use Luna to reveal the, uh, the, bow, the bow truckle. And then we can also make the baby Thestral fly as well with this one. So... We'll give that the full review treatment very soon. Now, guys, we have a box here. Now, this box has been sent to us courtesy of Flare PLC. Now, Flare are a distribution company that distribute lot, lots of different licenses, I believe. Flare Leisure and their PR company got in contact with me and um, sent me a bunch of items to look at. So let's take a look at what, what, what we've been sent. There's a helicopter flying over. One of the first items that I'm grabbing out of the box... Oh, I haven't done any reviews on these. I know these are very... People like, like these, aren't they? They're quite popular. So I think these are relatively new. Heroes of Gujitsu Galaxy Attack. And it says, I'm super scrunchy. This is... Um, Mercolic... Oh, sorry. The Mercolic Hero Pack. 
and he stretches up to three times his regular size. So these are Gujitsus. They're yeah, right squishy. So I'm looking forward to reviewing that. I've never reviewed these before, so that's something new for me. And oh, it looks like we've got two of them. We do have another one in here. Uh, we have the Pump Power Galaxy Attack uh, Air Vac Trash Thrash. Air Vac Thrash, and he stretches, and he's got a. You can pump out the air under his helmet, apparently. That's very cool. So we will review both those Gujitsus very soon. I'm looking forward to reviewing them. Like I say, new line for me. I'm not used to re re reviewing those ones, so that's cool. Ooh, I can see an ass. I can see a car. Oh yeah. So we have the Jada Diecast series, and we have Iron Man. I am Iron Man. As part of their Metal Diecast series, this is the 2016 Chevy Camaro. And we can in the series you can also get the Black Panther with the Lycan Hype Sport and the Spider-Man with the 2017 Ford GT. So these are real cars that have been redecoed to look like uh, the characters that come with them. In this case, we've got Iron Man. Very cool. Well, with an Iron Man, it would have been cool to see him uh, with the R8, you know, the Audi R8 and have that repainted. Because obviously he drove that in the Iron Man film, didn't he? We've got another Jada car in here as well. This one's from the Fast and Furious season. Oh, it's Brian's Ford Escort. Very nice. This is Brian's car. Obviously the late Paul Walker. And you can even get Brian's Skyline as well. I need to get that. That's so cool. And Brian's Toyota Supra. And of course, everybody wants Dom's Dodge Charger. But there it is. The Fast and Furious franchise. Big fan of Fast and Furious. We've been, we've been seeing the Fast and Furious film since I was a kid. <laughs> Grew up with that franchise. We've got another Jada car, and it's the Justice League Bat Batmobile and Batman. This is based on the, the Justice League film. It's the... Um, it's not, not, not the Tumblr. I can't remember what they called that one. Uh, did it have a name, that one? It's not the Tumblr, because the Tumblr was in the Christian Bale ones. This is the Justice League. But it's that big tank style Batmobile that had the gun on it and stuff. Very cool. I have sent us a few more items in here still. Next thing I'm pulling out is, ooh, the Tiny TV Classics from Family Guy. Now this is the Tiny TV Classics that gives uh, clips from seasons one and two in full color with famous quotes. Um, and it's meant to be the mil uh, millennial style, I think. This one, there's three different styles you can get. Ultra retro, retro 70s and 80s, and then millennial. Uh, very weird little thing, but cool. I'll give that a whirl and see what that's about. And then finally, the item that I am ridiculously excited about in this box, guys. We have some Kong versus Godzilla. We have Mecha Godzilla, which I've still yet to review, so I'm looking forward to reviewing that. Uh, he's been very hard to get hold of here in the UK. Um, all the Godzilla stuff's really hard to come by over here, so I'm looking forward to seeing that and reviewing it. And, uh, you know, comparing it to the King Kong and stuff that we've got. Then, wait, there's more. The final item, guys, in the box that I'm really excited because I've never seen this in store. It's brand new. I know it's been out in America for some time, but here in the UK, it's not arrived yet. So this is brand new. Oh, yeah. It's the King Kong Battle Cry. Uh, oh, sorry, Battle Raw King Kong, and it makes monster battle sounds. As you can see, his mouth moves. So that is super cool from the MonsterVerse, uh, from Playmates Toys, from Legendary Cinemas and Toho. So very excited indeed to have that. And he can move his arms as well and stuff. Oh, that I'll be reviewing that really soon because I am very excited to have that in hand. Wow, that was a big box of stuff. So let's just run over once more what we got in this box. So we got the Battle Raw uh, King Kong. We have the Mecha Godzilla. We have the Family Guy TV series. We have the Batmobile. We have Brian's Ford Escort from Fast and Furious. We have Iron Man's 2016 Chevy Camaro. Then we have the Harry Potter Thestral set from Loon with Lou Lovegood from Magical Minutes. We have two brand new Gujitsu fighters. And then the final two items, we got the Power Rangers Lightning McQueen, sorry, Lightning McQueen, Lightning Collection at Tengu Warrior. And of course, finally, Grogu. 
awesome bunch of items there, guys, wouldn't you say? How cool is that list of items? Cannot wait to get some time this week and start recording because there's some great toys in there. So have you guys been enjoying my schedule recently? I've been posting a fair few videos than normal, uh, trying to get ready for October. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do a bit of forward thinking so that I'm not on on so it's on October first. I'm not overwhelmed. I want to make sure this October 31 horror toys in 31 days goes really smoothly. So I'm working it out, and I'm gonna be doing on the end of this month for September. Um, sorry, the end of September on the 30th, Thursday the 30th. I will be putting out a video that day which will be Super Sorrel's Guide to Halloween, where I will list all the days, number 1 to 31, and what review will be on that day, what film I'll be watching that day, and what my song of the day will be for each of the days, and we'll go through it all 31 days. So if you want to live Halloween the way I do, I'll give you a playlist, I'll give you a movie list, and of course, I'll give you a bunch of toy reviews each and every single day. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new around here, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and it helps us to keep making awesome videos. Please leave us a comment down below and let us know your thoughts because I would love to respond to each and every single one of you and I will pin a comment of the day. Whoever may leave the best comment will get pinned and get a shout out in the next video. So guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, may the force be with you. Bye! <laughs>